Joko Widodo and Anthony Albanese meeting. It looks like some inclement weather there in Sydney. There he is. There's an official umbrella being used by the Indonesian president or attempting to use it. Needs a bit of help popping that one up. Maybe there's a... Here we go. We've got a replacement umbrella. This is the life and times of a presidential staffer as we see the cameraman going off sticks there. So we won't leave it there. We're expecting... What's cool to pick that? We might get a few comments, though, from the two leaders as they do hold this annual leadership meeting. But interesting timing, Jacob Widodo coming out here to Australia. He's coming towards the end of his two terms in office, 10 years, and has made Australia somewhat of a priority. We'll keep following that visit through the day. Here they go. So taking a stroll to have a nice look at Sydney Harbour there, yeah, Prime Minister's yeah. residence. There, Kira, Kira Billy, the Governor General, has welcomed the Indonesian President, and there's the PM. There, we'll see if we can have a listen in. Let's keep a distance. Stay back. Okay, so here the leaders are looking out over the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You heard there from some of the miners, keep your distance. In other words, well, they're not going to let us get a boom mic there and hear what they might be talking about, but I, I guess it's there's the Sydney Opera House. There's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Pat on the back, showing the President a few of the sights and sounds of Sydney. So the official greetings and so on are happening. Um, there's going to be a trip to Taronga Zoo, so across to the Taronga Zoo Wharf soon as well. And there'll be plenty of talk around trade, education opportunities as well with Joko Widodo, who is coming towards the end of his second term. You have two terms in Indonesia and that's it. So there'll be a new election and a new president, but he's an extremely popular figure. So that will mean that his party is favoured to keep the presidency and it means even though there's always a new rapport and relationship with each new Prime Minister, um, it might be something that Australia can continue to foster close ties as a result of this meeting, an 80% approval rating at the moment in Indonesia. So he's been very popular. A close neighbour, a very um, fast-growing neighbour. It's the largest Muslim democracy in the world as well. A lot of trade and investment links between the two nations. So we'll come back uh, throughout the day on that particular visit. A gloomy Sydney, but still pretty city, isn't it?